Further, we read in the Quran. It's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Yasin, chapter number 36, verse number 40. It is not permitted for the sun to overtake the moon, nor the night to outstrip the day. The moon and the sun. Kulun fi falaki yas bahoon. Each one traveling in orbit with its own motion. Now the scientists say that the orbit of the sun and the moon is different. So there's no question of the sun overtaking the moon. That's what the Quran says. And today the scientists, they tell us that the sun is moving in a direction in the universe to a particular fixed direction, which is called as the solar apex. In the constellation of Hercules, also known as Alpha Lyra, at a speed of 12 miles per second. And today the scientists they tell us that the sunlight we have is due to a chemical reaction which is taking place since billions of years. And one day, this chemical reaction will cease. And so, will the light of the sun cease to exist. And so will the life on this earth cease to exist. But the scientists say it will take another few billion years. Quran gives a similar message in Surah Yasin, chapter number 36, verse number 38. That the sun is running its course for a period determined, to a place determined. The Arabic word used here is mustaqar, which has two meanings. Either it means for a period determined, or it means to a place determined. And today science says that the sun is moving to a particular spot known as solar apex, and it will exist for a particular time period. So both the meanings of mustaqar, to a place determined, and for a period determined, according to science, is perfect. Imagine, Quran mentions this 1400 years ago.